Welcome to the Retrospect Podcast, a show where people come together from different walks of life and discuss a topic from their generation's perspective. My name is Ian, and as always, I'm joined by Stoney. Hello. And Jason. Hello, everyone. Well, I'm going to come right out and say it. Um, if the podcast sounds a little differently, the um, the soundboard that we have um, <laughs> kicked the bucket um, over the Easter week, and um, I, uh, I, I got a, a temporary solution. We're, we're still working on what a long-term um, fix is going to be. But for right now, I got something that will make do. <laughs> so <laughs> just for those of you who may, uh, who are... Uh, um, Our avid listeners who will listeners. notice little yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, it may wait, sound a little What different. do they call those? Audio files? Yeah, people that really that like to get into the Really details. get into sound and, and yeah. that kind of stuff. If you're listening during highway traffic, you probably can't tell a difference. That's, and that's fine. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyways, uh, just wanted to say that right off the top because we haven't had a chance to say it um, here. And this is the first time we've had a chance to record on this one. And I went on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> And man, did that feel good. I'm jealous. Where'd you go? I want to go on vacation. We went to Florida. Okay. Went to the beach for a while, and um, we, we we drove there, and we spent a week um, after the, oh man, after the Easter season and all the stuff with this time of year, just the beginning of the year and stuff. It was just been a, it's been a busy um, start to the year for both Mallory, myself, and our, and our really close friend Dylan, who tagged along my brother was supposed to go but then he couldn't get out of work because of his um his uh, his condition or what do you want to call it um so anyways we were supposed to go as a a big group but dylan still had fun um and so it's it was it's, it's been a long time coming we planned the trip initially in like january or february not knowing what the weather was going to be like Uh-oh. <laughs> obviously you can't really tell the weather that far in advance um, but it was good. It was, it was good for me to, to just have a chance to get away for a second and clear my head and not, um, I have a tendency, uh, <laughs> to take on a lot of stuff and just keep doing more and more things. And so it was nice to be able to sit back and just listen to the waves. Did y'all find while. some nice restaurants oh, to eat yeah, at? Yeah, what, yeah. what, what, where'd y'all go? What, 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 where, what's, Wait, did y'all go to a certain city or? We went to Destin. Okay. So it was, Destin's uh, nice. Yeah. We Destin's just, really nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very commercialized now. Yeah. 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 It's, it was, uh, it was staying really on, good. Staying on the beach? Um, uh, yeah. Across the street from the beach. So okay. close enough. We were walking. You could hear distance. the waves. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It was nice. So how much of your day was spent lounging on the okay, beach? Okay. Well, I want details. Because you don't okay, have a okay. tan. No, well, I mean, I, no. I, I got some sun the first little bit that I was there. Um, we went out on a Monday, and su- supposedly um, Wednesday and Thursday was supposed to, like, like thunderstorm. It was supposed mm-hmm. to be so bad Wednesday, Thursday. And so we got there Monday evening. We're like, okay, so we're going to go to the beach on Tuesday, come hell or high water. <laughs> And then maybe Friday, whenever it clears up. Okay. So we kind of planned our trip around that, you know, accordingly. Because I, I booked the hotel far in advance because I was like, I'm not going to, I don't want to miss this opportunity because work gave me the time off. And I was like, I, I got to take it. Um, and so uh, around here in Louisiana, obviously, it, it at least for me, um, if the meteorologist or if like the weather app on your phone says it's going to rain at least with a high percentage or high probability usually you can you can bank on it pretty good like i mean there's only that's a few still the only job you can be wrong more than 50 percent of the time <laughs> right, right. and keep your job yeah, and right. get paid well right i uh so for around here like if it's like 70 80 90 percent chance of rain like like i'm usually i'm usually betting pretty good like okay it's gonna be raining here and Mm -hmm. it usually will stay for a minute or two in the evenings a lot of times you know um but there i forget that it's florida and it's Mm -hmm. like it's even though it's you know just a couple states away it's different so (laughs) we go there we go to the beach on tuesday it's like a little overcast and like it's sprinkled a little bit but like it's still like a mostly hot day and it's it's really it's like really pretty outside I loved it. Mallory was too cold, but that's, you know, <laughs> that's just who we are. Um, 
And so we enjoyed ourselves. We all, I think, stayed out in the sun or what sun was around a little too long because we all got burned. My poor friend Dylan, he got burned, he got burned bad. <laughs> um, but Did he not put sunscreen on? I mean, he did a little bit, but I think he was too late. You know what I mean? Like, I think he had some on, and then uh, the the reapplying, he wasn't very it doesn't take long Johnny on the spot beach. for. Oh, yeah, you're right. And, and especially him. He wasn't really in the water kind of guy. He was a, I'm going to just go chill, uh, you know, on the little beach lounge chair. Did y'all for have long. an umbrella? Uh, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ian. No, I mean, I had an umbrella. The beach that we were at, it was like private property. So we couldn't have our own umbrella because of like a liability thing or whatever. We went to like a like a, the public part of the beach later, but it was also like it was overcast enough that it, you didn't really feel like you needed to. But the sun would peek out more often than I think you would realize. You know, at least you can still realized. get sunburn under full cloud I know, cover. I know, right? I know. I, still I, gets yeah, no, I don't know if you know. I mean, I may be a little tan, but like I'm fine. I got like a little <laughs> bit of like rosy on my head because I did, you know, I didn't probably apply as well as I should I have. But I'm little, okay. I see a little red on you. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm okay now because again, I think we all got, we all got at least a little bit burned on Tuesday because we were all out there for a long time. Mm-hmm. So even though we reapplied, you know, like I said, for me, my forehead's, you know, kind of peeling and <laughs> making myself look a little crusty. So, okay, wait a minute. You're saying y'all could not have any sort of, of like, tent or umbrella we, yeah, no. or nothing so, uh, because um, of why? Uh, um, it, because of bigger hotels. They It's like a private property section, and they have their own chairs and umbrellas. So Because okay. if you bring your own, yeah. you don't rent theirs. Okay, right. okay. So I'm, I'm trying to – I thought yeah, you were yeah, staying yeah. at, like, a, at a house. No, no. So we y'all stayed, staying at a, we stayed actual, at a – a resort, a yeah. Resort. Okay. We stayed at a resort that was across oh, okay. well, the street, that's understandable. and they allowed our resort to use their like cross through or uh, whatever. And so we just walked across the street with our stuff, and the guy, like the attendant there, and, was like, "You can't have your own personal umbrella because like liability stuff. You can use ours, or you can like rent ours." There of is. course, there and I was like, it has nothing to do with uh, liability. Yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> right, right. It's about dollars. <laughs> exactly. So I was like, "Well, how much?" And he's like, oh, "Well, for two chairs." And the umbrella, it's like 60 bucks or whatever for like the whole day. And I was right. like, well, we're only going to be, yeah, we don't want to do all that. So anyways, we all felt pretty fine. And like I said, it was mostly, it was okay. I, I, mean, we, I wasn't too upset about it, but anyways. Um, so I want to know about the food, man. Oh, Where, man. Did y'all find some yeah. places to eat or what? Well, well let, me, let, me finish, let, me, let me finish what I was saying. So we, we planned our trip like a feeling, like I felt pretty confident. You looked at the at the weather app or whatever you looked at your whole forecast and it was like like all day wednesday and thursday it was like 80 90 thunderstorms all almost all day and i was like okay well i can bank on the fact that it's probably going to rain all that time and i tell you <laughs> wednesday and thursday were some of the prettiest days that we were there not a cloud in the sky maybe one or two dark clouds would loom around but it was like it was so nice it like it may have gotten a little overcast for a while, but like it blew over super fast. It was really windy, and like I I <laughs> like we all three made a joke. We went out to go get lunch somewhere, and we got out the resort and looked outside, and, and my my friend Dylan was like, "Oh no, all the rain!" And of course, it's just this like we you feel a beautiful sea breeze, and you're just looking at this cloudless sky, and it's just this it's like low seventies, so you can like. You know, it's not hot at all, really. And so, you know, we're all sarcastic and joking around like, oh, my God, the rain is going to wash us away. And it's just a beautiful day. And I was like, oh, okay, well, so anyways. But, yeah, we went to a couple of really great, like, steakhouses. And okay. okay. There's a place called McGuire's down there. It's an Irish pub. Mm-hmm. And right. it's really yep. good. I There was one night in particular. They have they, they make their own beer in-house. And I had I uh, I'm a dark beer kind of guy. Yeah. And I uh, I tried their their homemade porter. And uh, oh no, I'm sorry, their stout. I had their stout. I I bought their porter for a while, but I had a stout, and it was really good. And I really really enjoyed it. And they also make an Irish coffee there. Uh oh, here wanna, we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, here yeah. we go. So, and I want to say there was uh, it was the last night we were there. I had I had both the stout and an Irish coffee. And by the time it was all over with, I was like, Mallory, you got to drive us home. Cause it's i uh, <laughs> I'm having a little too much fun here. So, but it was good though. It was great. And I, I, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed being able to just to unplug for a minute and <laughs> have that moment to myself where we could just sit on the beach for a while 
and so it was it was really awesome though. Mm-hmm. Right. I have not been to Destin in a long time. I I, I think it w- I would have to go back to the the nineties. Really? Oh wow! Since I've been to Destin, Florida, mm. now I've been to like Orange Beach, Perdita right, right, right. Key. Yeah. Um, but I have not been to Destin. I mean, that was a place. I mean, we went to that was a common yeah vacation spot as a. When I was younger and mm-hmm. kind of growing up, we went right. there. But my my family used to go to Panama City Beach. I went there a too lot. a lot. So my my I I've gone there, uh, growing up a, a bunch. That was just a, a like a frequent place we would go. Um, even like youth groups that I was a part of, we would like you know have youth trips out there. So like I would re- like frequently uh, in a, in a, in a, during my like high school and even like you know junior high stage, I went to Florida. You know maybe a couple times or at least once or if not twice in a summer. You know. Um, now I liked Panama City, but that's where I was yeah. for nine eleven. Ooh yeah, I remember you told me about that. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I was there for nine eleven and um. I there that incident and then the um the um the Greenpeace incident. I really don't like to go back to the beach. <laughs> oh gosh, I know so. this one. <laughs> the Greenpeace incident yes. on the beach. Was yes. Don't let him get you a second time. Yes. <laughs> uh, one of the last times I went to the beach, I was hanging out on the beach sunbathing, and all of a sudden Greenpeace showed up. About thirty Greenpeace people showed up with buckets. And they kept pouring water on me and tried to push me back out in the water. <laughs> <laughs> and we're not going to talk about the harpoon Stay, incident. No, so. Don't don't <laughs> go there. I tried. I tried, I tried warning you, but I you know. know. Now, now I remember <laughs> now the you story. Regret it, right now there, I you go. The story. But, but I'm um, just not really a. The beach is is for me is okay. Right. I'm not a beach. I'm more of a mountain person oh, than I am same. a beach person. So okay, I I haven't had the opportunity to go. I I love hiking. I love going on trails. I love being in the forest. But because I, I think we all live, you know, reasonably distant from, you know, nice the, beaches, the Gulf Coast, you <laughs> yeah. know, it's like, you know, we can get there, you know, within a day. Um, it obviously it was just a place that we would always go. And so I personally, I didn't want to go to the beach. <laughs> but again, Dylan and Mallory more so did. And Every I, once in a while, it's okay. Exactly, it's yeah. just you do it every couple of years. Well, like you go a, have a nice time with right. a group of friends, and it's right. nice. I but every say, year, like people go and rent these expensive no, condos spend, or have you, multi million dollar condos you, you on the water. A, you can do a whole Mm-mm. lot better going down to Cancun, mm-hmm. getting all inclusive. Uh, I don't know if you want to go to Mexico mm. right now. <laughs> Mexico is not the friendliest place to go to. The last time I think I went to Destin was. Like 2014, 2015. Oh wow! So it's been it's been a minute, you know, since I've been to Destin. But I remember the last time I went, I had a lot of fun um, and went to some great places. Mm. Now, when, I lived in Tampa, or actually, um, a little north town northwest of Tampa when I first got there, called Dunedin, mm-hmm. and I basically lived on the Gulf of Mexico. You could walk out the back of my house and throw a rock and hit the Gulf of Mexico, but it wasn't nice beach. No. It was all rocky. You could go out there and have a nice time. You could fish on it. You could do whatever you wanted, but it wasn't, you know, the nice beaches. I like that. I love the routine I had there. There was some really fun places to do in Tampa and, and had a great time, but just to go on a vacation to a beach, eh. Right, right, right. Well, I think if you have kids, um, I mean, the kids like the beach. Sure. Uh, I think the older oh, yeah. the older you get, um, it just sitting out in that heat all oh, day. Yeah. Well, that the older you get, yeah. trying to get the sand out of your underwear and not falling <laughs> over and busting you know, your head that, too is kind of ridiculous. I, I, the, the beach trips I've been on since, I mean, really have been either early mm-hmm. or late in the year now mm. it's not during the summer months and, and surprisingly that was what a lot of people said they were like um a lot of times they, they were like a lot of people from louisiana or yeah other areas will come and i was like yeah i mean i i i would i would told them all the time i was like i go I, if i'm gonna go to the beach it's gonna be during this time i used to go during like june and july oh yeah it was right. like, like everybody else ran did. full that was gonna be a question i asked you because the last couple of weeks schools have been out here yeah, in louisiana yeah. So was there a lot of people there? No, I mean uh, the. I think I, 
I think we like perfectly positioned ourselves like in between spring break time. I think there was some that came before us and then some that are coming after us. And so like, because on the weekends it would get busy, like people were coming in or leaving on a weekend. Um, but we, during the weekdays, we didn't have a wait anywhere. We oh, went wow. to this, we went to this That's old, nice. we went to this old like seafood place, um, down oh. by, down by the Harbor. And, um, they were like, you know, you give it like another week or two and the wait here will be upwards of two hours guaranteed but here like we walked in and they and the lady was like super nice and sat us down and we were like one of five people in the whole Mm -hmm. place and i was like this is nice and that happened a couple of times where the a couple of people had said that they were like it's you know it's a tuesday afternoon and it's you know it's fine or whatever or you know it's wednesday or thursday and some people are around but it's a lot of like either locals or people from louisiana or Mm -hmm. whatever that have come through Mm -hmm. that are you know here before the rush happens so and it, like I said, it was also, it wasn't super hot. So like. Makes it tolerable. It, it, it was, I will say, I think we went back to the beach on Friday and it was a little chilly because like the, like the ocean breeze and like the temperature was a little bit lower, like lower seventies. So like it, I will say like we got in the water and the water was pretty cold. But like once I got acclimated, I was fine. But like once you got out though in the wind, I was yeah. like, it's a little cold a for little, like a, it, yeah, a little, but I'm okay with that though. I'm fine. I'm like the fact that I'm able to sit here and like be a little chilly on the beach. I was like, this is like prime <laughs> time Mallory for me. Mallory is but still man, cold. Oh, she? she's still, she's still cold. Yeah, she? yeah. I told her, I was like, I just love being able to sit on the beach with you and just listen to the waves. She's like, I was and I was cold. And I was like, well, I'm sorry. So, <laughs> but anyways, we all had fun but, though. But you could remind her, you're the one who wanted to go I'm, to the beach. That's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> anyways I, that and, and again that was for me as well like i didn't i didn't want to go to the beach when it's like you know 90 freaking degrees right. outside you know there's, yeah, there's a happy sand, middle there's like, sand gets super oh, hot see, that's one of the things i like about miranda and i's relationship mm-hmm. we really truly make the best out of everything and 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 i know we need a segue into our the meat of our podcast <laughs> today yeah we were going to do something else um but due to some technical issues um we're inviting Miranda to come on to the Edgar Casey mm-hmm. um, show, which will be coming forward. But why don't we turn this into a, a vacation? Where would you like to go and who would you like oh, to yeah. go with um, vacation episode since we're dealing with some technical stuff and just make the yeah. most out of this one and have a little fun at it and get some kinks worked out. And, and what do y'all say about that? Mm-hmm. Roll music. What's your favorite trip? Favorite you know, place you ever been? I guess that's a big that's a that's the best of big question is what is like your what is your favorite vacation you've been on so far? Our you favorite know, place I mean, you've for, been. Well, mm-hmm. I mean, you know, for for me, it you know, as a as a child growing up, I mean, I, we went on family trips either to the beach. I remember a trip to Colorado. Yeah. And went on the Royal Gorge and um you know, uh, you know, rode the train and and all that, and that was that was fun. I did the Alpine slide, which was yeah. that was really cool. Mm-hmm. I still remember that to this day. Um, but you know, you know, I, they got to a point where I didn't go on vacation for for years. Oh yeah, did not go anywhere. Yeah, uh, probably within the last five years. I've started going back on vacations again. Okay. That was me. That was me ever ever since I moved back from Canada in like 2019 or so. I didn't take a vacation and then the pandemic happened. And so up until, you know, Mallory and I planned our Disney trip um, this past September, it it had been four years since I've been on vacation, like since I legitimately took time off of work to go on a vacation. Like I may have done like little weekend things. But like never like taking time off of work, and then that that Disney trip was the first like uh, adult Disney trip that I did, where like we planned all our own things and like we stayed in a nice resort, 
and we like went to some really nice restaurants and like really committed that like we're not going to really worry about the price tag right now. We're just going to like enjoy ourselves and then worry about it afterwards and like, you know, finance it later. And we did. And man, it was a great decision. I loved that trip so much. It was also the trip, obviously, that I proposed to her on. So, you know, obviously it's a little more sentimental in a, in a different way. Um, but yeah, like again, going like four years without taking any time off of work and then taking a whole week off. I was like, man, this feels freeing. <laughs> well, you see in America, it's done differently than say in Europe, America, you're lucky if you get any vacation time at all. Oh yeah. And if you do, you get a week, maybe two weeks. Well, in most of Europe, you get a month a year yeah. to take off and go be with your family and do things. And people plan 30 day vacations. That's crazy. I can't and in imagine America, going on a 30 day vacation. America, we just, we fight and scrimp just to have most of the time the weekend off. Oh yeah. And we, you know, our heads explode if we get a three day weekend and taking a vacation. And then it's so expensive in America because it's so commercialized now. It's just hard, especially with the family. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was young, we would take, you know, we, we had a camper. And it was a lot of work for my mother and the kids. My dad, all he thought he had to do was just drive. He drove the truck, with oh, the, yeah. you know. And, and we had one of those uh, um, trucks without a bench seat in it. And you had the camper shell over the back. And the three kids sat in the back, which I think wow. is illegal now. <laughs> and because Different we were time. loud and having a good time, they put a little intercom in there. Shut up. You know, he could hit the button. <laughs> Shut up. Be quiet. Sit down. And we... A couple of the places we went to were pretty neat. Uh, we would go to um, Homa Cheetah, which is a park in Mississippi, Homa Cheetah National Park. Once we got there, it was fun. There, the, it was beautiful, and you could just rest. And there was a little um, a, a stream coming into the, the big river. And if you sat down, it would scoot you along the river oh, wow. for like – three or 400 feet. And I don't know why we like, we would just run up there and just sit down and just get Love scooted it. along and do it. We did that for hours, but the home of cheetah was a really nice place to go to. I, and that's the kind of vacations I think I want to do with Miranda now is go see some of those things. But the national parks that we have in America oh, are, yeah. are amazing. And I'd like to do that. I, I want to do that with her. That'd That'd I really think that cool. would be fun. I, I, as I said, now with, uh, you know, really kind of getting into my, you know, uh, I joined this running group and now we take these vacation races. So we incorporate our passion of running with the ability to actually go and make oh, a vacation cool. out mm -hmm. of it. So to me, you need to at least take seven days when you're on a vacation. That's oh, kind yeah. of my ideal time mm -hmm. to not feel rushed. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, the tendency is that once you travel, you yeah. get to the loop, you're like, you're kind of like rushing to make sure you see everything or do right, everything right, right. and you're not really relaxing. Well, I remember when Miranda and I went to Vegas and um, it was, it was hectic. We were there for a week and um, we got there and we're like, oh my, we had this, um, they kind of uh, messed us over on the room. So we negotiated to get a suite and it was gorgeous. First thing we did when we get to Las Vegas was take about a three hour nap. We both just fell on the bed. <laughs> you were boom, boom, we were out. Just getting there was a headache. Oh yeah. But we had so much fun and just the things we saw and did, it was just amazing. I, awesome. I love that trip. I would love to go back there. To Las Vegas? To Las Vegas with Miranda. I haven't been to Las or some Vegas a group of friends. It's actually. been a while since I've been to Las Vegas. I've never actually been. I have friends that have gone, but I've never been to Las Vegas. It's, it's nice. I've heard. Yeah, I've heard there's nice. a lot I, I wanna to do. Go, I want to actually go to the Consumer Electronics Show. Oh, yeah? In Las Vegas every year. They have it in January where all the new tech is coming out. Hmm. CES, yeah. Maybe CES. we could see what kind of podcast equipment they <laughs> yeah, have Yeah, no kidding. I mean, I think yeah. that would be cool. Hey, well, maybe we can do a remote from there. Well, maybe we mm. probably could. Well, maybe. Yeah. yeah. We, we can, can find a way to our, get there, though. We have to bring Miranda, though. You yeah. can bring Mallory and what the... Yeah. Find somebody for Jason to go with. Well, well you can probably find somebody over there in Vegas. <laughs> no, hey, no, hey, no. <laughs> oh, wow. That's great. I'll tell they you got, what. They have plenty of that. Yeah. yeah. Well, we don't want that. Yeah. yeah. We don't want that. But I tell you what, we saw Chris Angel there and we saw Blue Man Group. Oh, fun. Blue Man and Group's cool. 
they're, they're not the same anymore. I remember seeing them kind of when they first kind of started doing their stuff. Yeah. And they were amazing. Now it's kind of like they're, or at least this show, maybe the traveling show is different, but this show that they have in Vegas was kind of gross and for the kids and mm. it, it was, it was not the same, oh, well, but interesting. it was still fun, but it was not the same, you know, and, uh, they were like, one of the guys was eating cereal and they were looking for the prize. So they took a camera and shoved it down his throat, oh like stomach gosh. looking for it. And then he throws it up and it's just uh, kind of gross. And, yeah. Well, that's you not. Know, it's for the kids. They're, they're yeah. playing off of that. What is that? Nickelodeon slime stuff. And mm. well, I would say if, if, if one, a, a very, one of my best trips I think I've ever been on was actually, it was, it was actually going to, uh, california for a conference and um there was a mutual a friend of mine who was involved in the carnivorous plants that Uh i mentioned before that uh uh, she lived up there um and had had purchased some plants from her that she had sent through the mail what area of california can i ask it's uh well she lived around the santa rosa okay area of california which is just north of san francisco Mm -hmm. But there was also another, an actual, uh, a couple nurseries up there that were big into that, uh, those kind of plants that I've been wanting to actually go see. So I had a conference in Monterey, California. (laughs) So um, this was probably five, six years ago. Um, So I said, you know what, I'm going to take an extra few days uh, after the conference and make a trip out of it. Okay. And so that's exactly what I did. So, um, we did the conference and then the, the day, you know, the, it ended the next morning, I checked out and took the Pacific coast highway North. And I stopped at every location that I thought was neat mm-hmm. to stop cool. at and visit and just go out on the beach. And it's just absolutely breathtaking. I mean, I still yeah. have those pictures and videos I took. That's I, nice. I took a picture of the like the sunset oh, wow. at the Gulf. That's really beautiful. Cool. Nice. Yeah. But there's something about the Pacific Ocean. Oh, it's, it's different. just different. And uh it's just very majestic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I end up going uh if I, I stayed in a little 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 bread breakfast type place just, and got to spend about four days just kind of Checking that everything awesome. out. And basically every morning it was kind of like, you know, wake up and walk outside and, okay, which direction I'm going to go today? <laughs> yeah. And that's right. what I did. That's and so cool. just explored stuff. So uh, to this day, that was probably one of my uh, better trips I've ever been on because it was just so nothing planned. Yeah, it was just yeah. random, that's whatever. So cool. well, I used to have a group of people back in the le- or mid to late 80s and touching into the early 90s. We would all take two to three weeks off, whether we were getting paid or not, whether we had vacation saved up or not, we would take it off and we would rent a big conversion van and put a little U-Haul trailer on the back of it, put all the luggage in that, and you flipped a coin. The only rule was you couldn't get on the interstate. In every intersection, you took a vote or flipped a coin if you tied on where, where you'd go. We had no destination in sight, no place planned, nothing, and we would just go. Well, that's turn around halfway and come back, and just see what you could see, and have fun, yeah. and and create memories. And you know, a couple of those people from that group have passed on, so all we have is the the I think three members originally left, of which I'm one of them. So there's two past me. And we still talk about those times and That's just awesome. going to see what we can and do and see. And one, one year we made it to the Alamo. Wow. Wow. You know, it was just the way it went. And that was pretty fun to see history. Yeah. And I like that. I like that kind of stuff. I had a friend of mine. Um, he used to. It was like a mutual friend of, uh, of a guy that I'm really close with. And he used to. uh <laughs> He had a group of friends that kind of did something similar to that. They would have a whole map of like the United States or United States and Canada or whatever. And he would take a dart and from 
like 10 feet away. He would. I think like, we did that once or twice to like something to that effect. Yeah. And he did that multiple times where mm-hmm. he would like, and then they would go either fly there or drive there and like do stuff in there for like a whole week or whatever. That was a big thing that he did. But I, that I learned about that because my, my best friend Ben and I, uh, like being musicians and being artists in that capacity. Like we've, we've traveled around with some pretty big people and just having a lot of fun, just getting lost in an area and (laughs) just having fun, like doing stuff similar to that, you know, not really Mm -hmm. uh, deliberately getting lost, but like, you know, if we're in this city for a extended period of time, you know, going up to someone who's a local and being like, what do we go? Like, you know, what do we do? That kind of stuff is usually always the, Trying to find the places where the tourists do not go. Oh, right. yeah. That's fine. Getting to know places. the locals and yeah, kind yeah. of, yeah, you know, where do you go? You know, mm-hmm. kind of. Right. Absolutely. That's Super the best cool. way to do it. You don't get overpriced. You, don't you gotta get off the <laughs> you gotta get off you, you gotta get, get overcharged. Right. Yeah. You gotta get out of the plane or get off of the interstate to do that. Right. So right. I, I, one year, I, I don't know, I guess about late 90s. I wanted a lobster dinner. There you go. So I got in my truck and I drove to Maine. That's exactly what I was fixing <laughs> to say. I said you had to have dr- driven to Maine or drove yeah. all the way to Maine. Took a couple of days to get there and a couple of days to get back after my lobster dinner. But driving up through there, going through Amish country, I didn't take the interstate. I always took the back roads. And that's back when you actually had to have a paper map. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, I, f- I saw this barn house kind of thing and there was a lot of stuff in the yard so i'm thinking hey this is for sale maybe this is a yard sale or something so i pull in and boom this old lady looks through the curtains at me and closes the curtains and a few seconds later Mm. boom she's looking at me and this old man came out what do you want what do you want and i said sir is this like a yard sale and where i'm from in south louisiana this this means yard sale stuff no, I'm just cleaning out my barn. I was like, oh, man, because he had all this antique woodwork and stuff. Oh, yeah. Tools and benches, and it was just amazing. And finally, I guess he realized I was an okay guy, and he said, you want to see it? Mm-hmm. And he gave me these two tools, an old antique um, hole maker and um, a draw knife. Wow. I still have them. That's crazy. Oh, wow. I still have them. They, it was just fantastic to spend time and he, at the time, he must have been in his 90s. Jeez. And he was still working, cleaning out his barn, doing stuff. And it was just so fascinating to talk to him. I probably spent four and a half hours just talking to him. His wife brought out some lemonade for both oh, of us. Oh, and wow. It was just really nice. You made, but you made had I friends. stayed yeah. on the interstate, mm-hmm. I would, would have never seen that and got to experience that. And um, then I had my fantastic lobster Fresh out of the where, water. Where did dinner. you have it at? I met some people that were doing a lobster boil, and they invited me to come, and I had it with them. So I didn't even wow. go to a restaurant. Oh, so this was like at a residence. Yeah, at a residence. Okay. I, I, I had stopped. I was getting gas or something, talking to somebody like, what's the best lobster in town? And the guy goes, that would be my house. <laughs> and I was like, well, since I don't have a reservation, that's going to be kind of hard. And he says, no, tomorrow you have an invite come to the house and i was like oh wow and he it was good lobster and how do they cook it he did it on the grill wow he did it on the grill in butter a special sauce he made with filet mignon on the side of it and nice. you cook them right next to each other so the fats and juices are popping off of each other and landing on it and he said you got to do it right next to each other but he split the tail and these were big tails. These weren't like yeah. these little bitty tails you get in the grocery store. This was a lobster. Yeah. And um, he split it, you know, and kind of semi butterflied it a little bit, I guess you could say, and and just cooked them right, all the steak and lobster tails right next to each other. Jeez. And it was amazing. That's awesome. Wow. Yeah. I need to go up to Maine and get yeah. me a lobster <laughs> dinner. Where the place I was talking about, the little seafood place in the harbor, um, they had like uh like a fixed menu of stuff but then they also had like stuff that was caught that morning 
and that was what I got. Obviously, it was a little more pricey, but mm-hmm. I got I got snapper and I got it fried, and it was caught that morning. And man, oh, wow. I've never had. I'm not a usually big like seafood kind of guy, but I was like, I mean, if we're gonna be here, may as well partake. Right. When and, in Rome, uh, exactly. That kind of reminds me when I went and to Seattle stuff. and got some bought stuff right, oh. fresh off right off the boat. Yeah. That's it the was way to nice. go, and that's what was so neat about this lobster. I knew that they had just gotten them, and it was just nice. And yeah, their process is not like the way we cook seafood here. Now I right. do lobster on the grill now, but it's just seeing people in their own world mm-hmm. and what they see, and getting out of the tourist trap. That's what I like to do. That's what Miranda and I did when we went to Vegas. We got kind of off of the beaten trap, be, um, beaten path. And didn't fall for the traps of the commercialism. And I think if we went back, we would have a better feel for it. We'd know some of the things we'd want to do again and some of the things Mm -hmm. we would not do again. Right. And um, I just, it was neat. I I don't like that. Get off the beaten paths. Go see the world. See what's really out there. That's one of my, I don't want to say bucket list or vacation destinations that I want to do. I may have talked about it to you, Ian. I don't know if I've talked about it with you, but... There's a movie out there by um, uh, Emilio Estevez. Mm -hmm. He wrote and directed it, and he actually directed his dad, Martin Sheen, called The Way. And it is uh, the path of St. James. There is a pilgrimage that that starts in France. It's actually supposed to start at your house. You're supposed to walk the whole way, but obviously we can't do that. So we're going to take a plane to France and get off the plane, and then you start walking across France and up to the northern tip of Spain, and it's over 800 kilometers. And I want to do this before. That's It's a bucket list for me. Um, and it's an, a great movie about the people that you meet on your life. It's, it's a great movie, but it's also a metaphor on some things about the people you meet along the way and that you want to keep them and cherish and nourish those relationships. And basically, you watch Martin Sheen walk 800 miles or 800 kilometers. That's what the whole movie is. There's wow. no cussing. There's no gunfire. There's no car chases. There's no sex. You're literally just watching him live his life. It's a voyage of exploration. That's what mm-hmm. it is. And it's a great little movie. So if you if y'all need a movie yeah, suggestion I, I, for I the aftermath. I watched a special on TV about that. Mm-hmm. that well, one uh, of the fantastic walk. things about it is, is since the beginning of the pilgrimage, over a thousand years ago, they have kept records of this of every pilgrim that's made it. Once you go, I think it's the Compostello something, I forgot the name of it, you go down to a basement and they ask you questions. Where did you start? Why did you do it? Well, I wanted a miracle. What was the miracle? Did you achieve your miracle on the journey? And they keep records of it all. Crazy. From the beginning of the pilgrims that take that. And it's supposedly where St. James is buried. That's right. Mm. And it's it's just an ama- I want to do it. Yeah. I, I really want to do that. I think that would be fun. Do you get, stay in like in? I mean, you walk it to assume there are places you you stay. I well, mean, basically, I, you you have your passport, right? But you get a um, Path of Saint James passport, and there's places that he went on this pilgrimage that have um, hostels, yeah. I guess you say, along the way for the pilgrims. But you can stay. Um, buy this thing of rocks, or you could stay, you know, places along the way, and you get this new passport stamped along the way, and it's your proof that you did this, and along the way, and you get these fantastic stamps on this new. Um, That's awesome, and it's just fun. And there's places set up for them. Some charge, some don't. So, but you're supposed to be a pilgrim and living the pilgrim life, right. which is not. You not don't have any to money. Be, you know, yeah. opulence and right. it's, you're, you're, it's it's you're looking for a miracle along the way. Well, it's a spiritual journey. Well, yeah. it, it, it 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 is a very spiritual journey, but they've removed the religion out of it. Um, it is a Catholic pilgrimage, mm-hmm. but they have removed the Catholicism from it because there's Jewish people that go, there's been Muslim people that go, there's all kind of different walks that take this pilgrimage looking for a miracle. And a lot of people find them on this path. But it's a great movie if y'all need something okay. for the aftermath. And I have a copy if y'all would like right. it. I used to give that copy out to people. 
I would buy four or five at a time and say, you need to watch this. You need to watch this because mm. it's really interesting about your path and the people that you meet along the way Yeah, and the impact that they can and cannot have on your life if you allow it. I used to get kind of teased a little bit by a really close friend of mine. She used to kind of make fun of me because I was like, I, I would like to deliberately go somewhere to be lost, like to like I, I want to get lost in a place to help better like know where I am. So if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna go somewhere new, I you know I will try and find a uh, look at a map, try and find a path how to get there, but then like deliberately try my best not to like like be glued to it, you know, like get lost a little bit so I can find my way back, you know, and I work on your sense of direction. Right, right, sure. So that's, I mean, same sort of thing we happened whenever we were in Destin. There was, you know, a, f- a couple of times where like I, you know, it's not like it's a very complex area where we were at, you know, but whenever I was there, I didn't actually drive there, you know, so I was like, you know, it's my first time just like, you know, cruising around. I was the, <laughs> I was the designated driver for the whole trip. So that was a lot of fun, but uh, it was good. I've never, just speaking of driving and, st- and like, you know, taking a road trip, I've never been to a Bucky's before, but those are like a really big deal now all of a sudden. Oh, apparently. everybody loves buggies. Yeah, everybody's loving them a buggies. And I've never been there before, but we went to the one in Mobile, I think. Yeah. And man, I... <laughs> I think it's in Robertsdale. Yeah. I, the new one right there toward Gulf Shores. I think so. Yeah. I we, we pulled off and it was just this big installation. I was like, bro, what is this? This is a gas station? It was as big as like a Oh, it's just store. a big gas station. It was huge. I went to my first one. Miranda and I went to Houston um, just for you know, a couple of days. And I, I had never been to Bucky's. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. Yeah. You know, they have some fantastic stuff there. Dude, they got they had some, like, cinnamon sugar-coated cashews, dude. And I was like, these are the best things I've and ever the had. Beef, the beef jerky. <laughs> yeah. is a, you can get all kinds of flavors good. of beef jerky. They got a whole wall of beef jerky. And it's I'm crazy. like, oh, my gosh. Yeah. So... I'm not gonna lie; those bathrooms were amazing. Oh, they pride it themselves was, as they have the cleanest bathrooms. Yes. Well, I, I, I would second that because I went there and I was like, hey, it said on the, it said on the sign, it was like world famous restrooms. And I was like, oh, world famous restrooms. How funny! I walked in, I was like, holy, wow, look at this place. It's, it's cleaner than your house. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it was really cool. But anyways, I, it was a, it was really cool to see that for the first time. You know, the, yeah, it, it was neat. I had never been there. Yeah. I had never seen one of those. And I, I travel a lot. Yeah. I had just never stopped at a Bucky's and it was pretty fun. Yeah. Well, I, I am, uh, I think my vacation this year is going to be in Tennessee. Uh-oh. I have a, I have a friend who's moving to Chattanooga and I really want to go once he gets like settled in for a little while, I want to go like, Hey pal, can, can I stay at your place for a while? And I'm, I'm lucky. I have a lot of, I've got several people I know plus family that also own uh, homes in North Carolina, mm. uh, the, which is another beautiful state. I've heard North Carolina is very it's pretty. It's very, very pretty, especially if you get there in October when the leaves oh. are changing. Mm-hmm. That sounds amazing. It's the ideal time to be there, to see that, because it's uh, it's very breathtaking um, uh, from what you see. But yeah, so I'll be in Tennessee. This will be my vacation race this year. Now, next year, we're scheduled to go to the Dakotas. Oh, wow. And we're going to go do the Mount Rushmore Uh-oh. half marathon. So I want to see Mount Rushmore. Yeah. Never seen that. Yeah, actually, you need to see it from the Canadian side. Have you seen that picture from the Canadian side? No. Let me Uh-oh. see if I can find that. Uh oh. Is it the back of their heads? Uh, something like that. <laughs> um, yes. I want to go see, you know, where Custer last stand. I'd like to go see that. Yeah, yeah. That's so cool. I want to go do that. So there's several things. I mean, America, there's so many places. Oh, yeah. That I want to see before I even really think about. There's Mount Rushmore from the Canadian side. <laughs> no, stop it, Stony. <laughs> we'll have to put that on the Facebook yeah. page so people will know what we're talking exactly. about here. Yeah, uh, you know that's. I would love to. Uh, there are just so many beautiful places. Uh, you know, I've never seen the Grand Canyon. That's amazing. Yeah. That I was one of the things that. that Miranda and I did was the helicopter tour of the Grand Canyon. Yeah, 
and we had a good pilot and that was fantastic That's especially cool. when you realize that this was all underwater at one time yeah, right. yeah. where'd the water go number one right okay but number two how low that water is behind the hoover dam i think it's lake mead Mm -hmm. And they're talking about they use the Hoover Dam to send all of that electricity to California, and it's not enough. And they've pumped it so much that they've almost depleted the lake. And what are you going to do for water for Las Vegas? Yeah. They need to say, uh, California, figure it out yourself uh, and uh, shut uh, it off. I, I think they have now. California's been getting a lot of rain. They've mm -hmm. got like a lake has kind of reappeared in California that's been like not there for a long, long really? time. Yes. Wow. Because of the amount of rain they've received. Interesting. Which is, they need it. Yeah. Considering what you're saying about Lake Mead. Well, and considering uh, the Euphrates is dried up. Well. Yeah, the Euphrates is completely dried well, up Well, you know, now. some people are you know, like in drought and other people are just getting inundated, mm -hmm. you right. know, which is typically, uh, you know, what generally happens. Well, they say the world lives on these cycles and I think we're just in one of those cycles right now. Yeah. So. So crazy, you know, interesting. We'll so where where happens. would y'all want to go if if you had oh. if you had an unlimited source of money? Oh, wow. Where would you go on vacation? Well, once I've seen everything that I want to see here in America, probably if I stepped out of the United States, you know, I, I would love to look go see some of the historical sites in in Europe. Yeah, uh, I'm a big. I love Roman history. Okay. Uh, so yeah. I, I would love to see that. I mean, I, my, my parents have been, have seen that. I, I've i never been outside. Uh, I've never been to Europe. Um, there are a lot of wonderful places that I would love to see uh, around the world. I'd like to go see the, the ain't, the, the seven, the, the old seven wonders of the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, just to say that I've seen it. I want to say that it's not not 2024, but I think it's 2025. Mallory and I want to try and plan a trip to Europe. I think we have a few places in mind, but nowhere set. I really want to go see Italy really bad. I would love to go see Italy. I want to go see, like, I got a, I have a lot of heritage in Ireland and all that kind of stuff. And I think it'd be super cool to go see out. And, uh, I heard Ireland's beautiful. Yeah. I want to go see the countryside. I think it'd be super awesome. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, those are those are some really nice places to. I mean, as I said, it just takes so much money. Another place that I'm gonna tell you what I would love to go is Iceland. Yeah, and that's Mallory's been talking about that so much. Iceland. She's want to go to Iceland so bad. And New Zealand. New Zealand is really cool. Big fan of Lord of the Rings, and so looking at New Zealand, I'm like. Oh, beautiful it is well i like iceland because it's the only other place in addition i think new zealand may be the other that actually has geysers interesting wow. yellowstone iceland yeah. and i believe new zealand only wow. places on the planet hmm did not know that interesting yeah. so and there is an actual Vacation race in Iceland. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> so, uh -oh. well, you, and you know, know that like uh, one thing that Mallory was looking at for Iceland is they have like this road. I think it's called the Ring Road or whatever. It, or this, uh, it travels around the entire like continent of Iceland or country. I don't know what it could be considered. Um, and you can like see all like the major places around. So I wonder if they incorporate something like that or it. It it might. I'd have to look uh, up on the. Uh, on the website. One of the crazy things about Destin was, again, I knew it was like Florida, and I know that obviously there's a lot of, I think I knew that there's a lot of air traffic, but like being on the beach, as I was sitting there, I was like, this airspace is busy. There was like, and it was, there's no big, there was mm -hmm. no uh, like big planes at all. There was like small helicopters, little Cessnas and stuff. And the crazy thing that I thought was super cool the time that I was going, I'm not sure if this is like something that happens all the time or just the type of season we were in, but the the fighter jets were, I mean, they were well. There's military they, bases. I know, I know, wow. and they were and they were traveling. They were traveling from east to west, and so that we were just sitting on the beach, and every now and then you hear, 
crash and it would be these like these two fighter jets flying over. And I was like, what in the world am I looking at? It was super cool. They were just cruising. It was a lot of fun. And that happened. I forget what base is that. I don't know if that's is that Heglin? I think so. Which one is in Florida? Is that Heglin or there's England Air Force Base? It, no, not no. England. That's it's, it's, there's a I couple. Don't know. Of I, I think forget which right. ones and I don't know. If here's it's in. here's all your planes right now. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's great. I mean, I'm talking about like that's what that's, like, that's nuts. there was no and there like what I'm saying is like there was no because the the airport that was there in Destin is such a small one. All they had was like smaller stuff. So what I'm saying like the airspace was busy. Like there was no commercial aircraft like the some of the biggest planes that i would see that would leave the airport were like leader jets and they would and i would watch them guys like take off hard and they would be like they would fly up fast and it was really really cool and they would all kind of head in that kind of like southeast direction like towards like the orlando miami area so i was like okay they're all going but there was a couple times where i'd see like these little cessnas kind of flying around i was like oh how cool i want to do that well I want to are you around. talking about mcdill air force base in tampa no, I'm talking about what is there's a base right there in Florida on the go, on the Gulf Coast, and I, I don't remember. What is, that. There's one in Mississippi, and then there's one into to Florida, and I'm trying to remember which one that is. Whatever it was, they were all coming from farther east than we were, so they would always fly over us. They would head west, so I don't know what. I don't. Whatever, I don't, I don't remember. Destin, I, so. I don't. I don't remember. But I mean, I, I said I don't know if I'll ever. I don't know if I'll ever go back to Destin. I I, I really don't have a desire to go there. I, I have looked at another place that's east of Destin. That I, matter of fact, I was uh, at my my place of employment. Uh, a vendor was uh, we were talking about. And he's from Florida, hmm. so and he's from that uh, Tallahassee area. Oh yeah, yeah. And he he suggested Mexico Beach. Hmm. He goes, it's not commercialized. Mm. It is, it's nothing but a small, you know, it's, it's like basically Airbnbs. It's, it's houses. Wow. Um, and, um, where is that? Where is that at? Mexico beach will probably, it's actually east of Panama city. Oh, so it's even further. It's further. So probably it would be best. It's it's closer toward Tallahassee. I see. It's quarter of that little area of Florida where it kind of bends around. There's like not where it bends. You know, if you look at Florida map and it just it's kind of this kind of straight. And then there's this little bump. Yeah. Yeah. That's really kind of below Tallahassee. Yeah. It's Mexico Beach is is in that area just kind of if you look at Tallahassee. And you kind of go draw a line straight down. I think it's right to the west okay. of that line. I see. If you drew a line straight down from Tallahassee into the Gulf, and you, I believe that's where Mexico Beach is. Awesome. But I, we got to keep we got to keep it a secret. We can't. We can't. I, I'm telling you, <laughs> yeah. but for but for a place that you just want to go. Oh, I see it right here. You see yeah, it? yeah it's I south do. of Panama City. Yeah, it's, it's just a little bit further down. Mm-hmm. Oh, is it? Tyndall Air Force Base. I don't know if that I see it right here. That may be it. I I don't. That may be it. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, Mexico Beach is probably. I would think that's another hour. Yeah. Pie pass Panama City, and and the reason I like it's from what he told me he goes, it's not commercialized. You don't have all the people and all that other stuff. Right. It's mm-hmm. just you, you rent your little house, and you stay there. That's and cool. uh, now he did tell me that there is a very exclusive community right to the west of of Mexico Beach that like superstars live there. Oh, really? Yeah, like I mean, like actors and actresses. I mean, the houses are like ten million plus. Oh gosh! Yeah, it's very very exclusive, <laughs> man. Um, but yeah, that's crazy. But he goes, that's where the people in actually Florida. Mm-hmm. That when they go for their spring break, they go down to like Mexico Beach in that okay. area because they don't want to deal with the oh yeah the crowds the the people coming in from out of state <laughs> invading the Panhandle of Florida. Uh, Where uh, else but the Retrospect Podcast can you get great <laughs> vacation tips That's just right. for your day to day life? Right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, welcome to the it, Retrospect Podcast. Yes, it's a. Uh, uh, I, I, it's so funny. We're talking about vacations, and I'm sitting here talking to this gentleman at mm-hmm. my at my work last week, and uh, we got talking about Florida. There you go. And uh, so, 
but yeah, yeah, Mexico well, Beach. If if I had, if we're talking about like reasonable, like what would I like to do? I want to go see more of like the West Coast side. I would love to go to Seattle. I would love to go upwards into like Oregon, like or even just. I've been know, to Seattle. Pacific, and that, that's that's yeah. what I'm saying. When I took the Pacific Coast Highway. You yeah. need to do that. You I, and Mallory okay, need to so, just get you a start around Monterey, right? And just work, working your way up north. And I'm telling you, you you'll it's awesome. absolutely incredible. I really want. I, I would love to go. Like go in March. I want to see, see the whales. I want to see like like mountains and trees and stuff. So like to be honest, like one trip that I'm trying to plan but I just haven't gotten around to it is to go see Banff in Alberta, Canada. I so badly want to go see like the Canadian Rockies and Lake Louise and all that kind of stuff. But even just like Montana and like stuff like that where it's like just why, these, why has like, it got to be the Canadian Rockies? What's wrong with the well, American I mean, Rockies? You can, I'm just but like I know you're right. I'm, there's nothing wrong with it. But <laughs> Montana's like I'm gonna tell you Montana's Ooh. beautiful. That's what I'm saying. Yes. Like, I, I've I've been like, there. I mean all of it. Like, like mm-hmm. American Rockies, Canadian Rockies. I just know that I, I've had friends that have you know that have gone to you know up there into. Um, Calgary and you know mm-hmm. that Banff area and it's just it's so beautiful because it's the same thing with like Alaska it's like seeing that part of Alaska that just has those like beautiful mountains and these evergreen trees and you know all that stuff I want to go see all of it so okay I go into I want to go on a hike well I, I've been doing that with my running group that's what we do now I mean it's we do our run and then we spend the rest of the time we go on hikes that's cool you know, Maybe I should we join did you that guys. when we went to Glacier. Highly recommend Glacier. Okay. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, they have some great hikes. They really do. Maybe I should join you guys on yeah, I'm hikes. Telling I'm telling you. I'm not I, sure about running, but I can definitely. We, we well, I said, I mean, we're there for a week. The run is only a day. Okay. You got six other days of there you go of doing uh, other maybe stuff. I, maybe I'll tough out one go, run. You can cheer him, uh, Jason yeah, right. on yeah, and yeah, then yeah, do yeah. the hikes with. There him. you go. Hey, you know, I, I bust fun. your chops about Canada. Yeah, but Miranda's from Collingwood. Okay, and that's one of our trips that we'd like to plan here. Just a little vacation because yeah. I've shown her where I'm from and yeah. my little places here and things that you know that I I did and she'd like to take me to Collingwood and show me where she grew up and I it's a little ski resort town. That's and, cool. I think I would like that and kind of go see just that area and 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 learn her a little bit, learn about her and her her past and I ma- childhood. I, I made a, I made a friend out in um, is it Maryland? I can't remember. It's it's somewhere out there, and he he does like a ski resort up there, and uh, I didn't even know that they did that kind of stuff. I think it, that or it's Maine. It must be. I think maybe Maine. Anyways, regardless, he has a ski resort kind of thing out there, and he was like, "Anytime you want to come out, you just let me know, and I can, you know, I can make accommodations for you." And I, I just haven't really ever done it, but just talking about it, I'm like, maybe, maybe I should just. Uh, Stony's story about the the lobster uh, in Maine that's yeah. kind of got me wanting to maybe even go to Maine. And, and go have Maine is gorgeous. Oh yeah, and that's uh, I tell you what, I would love to live in a lighthouse on the mm. coast of Maine or something like that. Just, and do nothing. That could be my retirement and there just you live on a lighthouse. It's beautiful. That whole landscape there is just gorgeous. The That's cliffs. Cool. What the, is it about lighthouses that just are so, that kind of draws you to them? I think it's the same thing it with like, it draws a, you to it. <laughs> it's it's like, I know. Yeah. It's, it's, it's either come that, here or don't come but here. There's something yeah. about them that just, they just, they find, I find appealing. I yes. think it's the same thing with like a, it's just anything with like a tower, mm-hmm. you know, why, uh, I think certain towers are like a, just a cool symbol of like, you know, like a castle would be, it's like just this monolith, you know, on a cliff or whatever is like, yeah, that's, it's cool. Yes, yeah. I agree. I've always wanted to even start collecting lighthouses, uh, yeah. you know, the lighted lighthouses, mm-hmm. the lamps yeah. and stuff and just collect. Cause I just, I love a lighthouse. And there's so much unique architecture to the lighthouses over a couple of hundred years that are just, it's fantastic. Well, for any of you at home who uh, are trying to reach out to us to um, send us suggestions or, you know, want to talk to us or, you know, uh, share your favorite vacation stories, we would love to hear from you. Um, We have a Facebook forward slash retrospect pod where you can uh, comment or you know or reach out and talk to us that way or you can type in retrospect pod on um, you know any of the major podcasting platforms you'll be able to find us that way but until next week thank you so much for listening bye bye
Goodbye, everyone. Good night. You're the best. Peace.